the law should be blind to colour and ethnicity and religion. The reality is these men aren't driven by their ethnicity or their religion or their colour. They're driven by the fact that they want power and control over young girls. The fact is, however, when it comes to street grooming, Asians are disproportionately involved. But as you said, the most child victims are victims in the home or institutions or, on the, or, or in online. And they, they will be perpet the perpetrators there will be white males. The vast majority of child sex abuse offenders across the country are British white men. Uh, in this Rotherham scandal, the National Crime Agency says that the majority of suspects, and I quote, are of Asian appearance. The perpetrators have been allowed to get away with it for far too long, sadly, and victims have suffered for far too long. And my point is that justice delayed is better than justice denied. And when you hear the NCA say that uh, two under investigation are serving all former councillors, we know that there are allegations against police officers as well, how confident can you be that there's not going to be another establishment cover-up as we've seen in so many other uh, investigations in the past? Well, I'm optimistic, uh, Cathy, because things have changed over the last three, four years. Historically, yes, there probably have been conspiracies. There certainly have been cover-ups. The reality is, though, that the NCA, all the specialist officers, specialist prosecutors, are determined to bring people to justice now. And I'm confident that they will do their job. But it's absolutely essential they provide support to the victims here, because too many of them have never had any faith in the authorities. They now need to be given that support through this trial process, through the prosecution process.